everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Ready to Die Fighting. I'm Chris, and today I want to talk to you about a couple things I've learned about fire. Um, I'll just give you a few tips. So, one, I'm going to be using a fire starter. starter. This is by Light My Fire, and this is my preferred fire starter. Because I like that it comes with this, it comes with this little um, striker, and this is just really easy to hold, I think. And it actually comes... Um, how do they... I can't remember how it comes out of the package, but I always get some string and connect it to each end and put a little, uh, little, just a cheap little carabiner on there. And I think that's just super convenient way to... You can clip that to a belt loop or to your bag or whatever and make sure it doesn't get lost because it is kind of a small thing and easy to get lost. <laughs> and uh, it's normally much bigger than this, but this is actually the striker that we use for... Um, kind of dicking around the house and practicing. This is the striker that I learned how to make fires with and I'm teaching a boy with, so it is quite abused. Uh, I don't take this camping with me or anything like that because it is, uh, <laughs> there, there's not a whole lot left to it, but it can still throw a lot of sparks. So I definitely still use it, still works. These things are fantastic for, um, I mean, I don't know how many strikes and fires we've created with this. You know, whenever we make a fire in the fireplace for fun, um, we have a gas stove and, you know, sometimes we have some problems with it coming on. And so we use this to get the fire started sometimes. I don't know if that's necessarily the safest thing, but, you know, sometimes some people use a match. We use a striker. Why not? So use your gear, get comfortable with it. Buy if you buy two or three of them, use one of them to practice and learn on, and the others you save for when you actually need them. So they're they're not that expensive. Um, REI is one of my favorite stores. They sell them. Amazon. Um, there's you don't have to get this name brand or anything. I mean any of the Swedish fire steels, they all work. But I just prefer this one. It also has a little emergency whistle. Not as loud as I thought it would be. Maybe it is. Just got to blow on it right. So I think that's kind of cool. But the real thing I want to talk to you about, aside from that little hack of doing the rope, is a great tender is dryer lint. Just dryer lint that everybody gets out of their dryers. Just like all this cotton and dog hair and of these fine fibers that easily catch a spark and will easily burn because if you just chop up a bunch of sticks you're not necessarily going to be able to start them with this you have to have something finer to catch the sparks here so you have a lot of options you can do feather sticks you can bring uh, cotton balls soaked in um, vaseline but dryer lint is completely free and accessible, and you can just throw it into a uh, Ziploc bag or whatever, and you've got some um, tinder. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to catch. So here's the uh, dryer lint right here, and you know, maybe I'm moving it to the shade. Can you see that? I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it there. And now I'm just going to take my fire steel, and you want to you want to make sure that the sparks get right into it. So bring it close. Don't be afraid of it. You know they're just little sparks. You know you can. It doesn't hurt. You're fine. Don't be scared of it. Just get close in there. And look at that. One strike. And we've got a fire. And that's caught. Now it does burn fairly quickly, but you know, you get a handful of it, there's there's fire. One strike with the fire steel. And that is both fantastic. 
and terrifying. So now you can you can get your your smaller sticks, twigs, dry leaves, whatever, and you know you tend to that. Actually, it's still going. It's kind of hard to. There's definitely still some heat there. And you can get some stuff going there. Um, you can definitely get a, a your fire going from something just that simple. Um, but here's the thing that makes this terrifying. It's a it's a helpful hint, but this big bag of dryer lint, all of this, every single bit of it, came out of here, out of the vent. Now, ideally, you'd be getting it out of here. You know, you're supposed to clean this out after every time you run the dryer. And I just ran that, so that needs to be cleaned out. And you can just pull this loose, throw it in a bag, and you've got some great fire starter. But this doesn't catch everything. And over time, you can get a buildup in here. And so this was all the stuff that got by. And I didn't even use a vacuum cleaner. This is what able this is just what I was able to get out with my hand and just kind of I just kind of tapped it like that to kind of shake things free. And that's what fell out was all of that. And so you saw one spark and this thing caught on fire. That's a no good. So, um, you know, you hear the warnings that dryers can start fires and make sure you clean your lint traps and all that. That's how easy it is. Make sure you stay on top of this. I, I don't have a recommendation on how often you should do that, but certainly, you know, maybe every six months, every once a year or something like that. I'm not sure, but make sure you check on this thing, clean it out at least once in a while. Make sure you're cleaning this thing out. Um, I keep a fire extinguisher down here. House fires are one of the biggest threats. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, zombies, bombs, EMPs, you know, all that stuff doesn't matter. The thing that happens every day to millions of people is their homes catch on fire. A lot of times because of the dryer. So that's my tip to you. Be safe. Be prepared. Have fire extinguishers. Have smoke detectors. And make sure you clean this damn thing out because it is a death trap. Ah. <laughs> uh, if this is helpful to you, like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Uh, even your friends who aren't preppers because this is really useful information. Um, this is something that I overlooked. And uh, my dad actually, he came over the other day and he noticed there was like some lint outside. He's like, what's going on there? I was like, oh, you know, I think a pillow exploded in the dryer when I was washing it and he's like oh you better better get that out like catch on fire and <laughs> yeah it can so it's, it's not even a, a prepper thing this is just be safe be safe in your home prevent fires only you can prevent house fires I'll catch you guys in the next video